Now, it's quite often that street art is labelled as graffiti. The Loughborough Business Improvement District have set about plans with the difference to try and improve the appearance of the town centre. Street artist Wei Ong has been commissioned to revamp Devonshire Square in Loughborough. He's also going to be running workshops, so the art really taps into the minds of Loughborough people and creating projects that they can truly be proud of. So is it street art or is it graffiti? BBC Radio Leicester's Helen McCarthy went to Loughborough to meet Wei Ong to find out which landmarks could be immortalised in his artwork. If you don't know Devonshire Square, it's that last bit of road before you hit the pedestrianisation and the Odeon Cinema on the right. If you don't know the area we're talking about, it's because you haven't looked up. It's above the shops along one side of Devonshire Square. It's a former multi-storey car park and it looks it. It's grey and it's brutalist architecture and it's not adding anything to this square at the moment. With me is Jonathan Hale from Loughborough Bid. You've got plans for this, haven't you? We have, Helen, and you've summed it up perfectly. I think it is a bit of 1960s brutalist architecture in, in one of the nicest parts of town. I mean, looking around the other sides of the square, you can see uh, lots of independent shops, traditional architecture, and really this lets it down. Uh, and the, the, the Bid and Love Loughborough are trying to lift this whole area by commissioning and creating this artwork, uh, which we think will do two things. One, it'll lift the area and cover what is a very ugly building, um, but it also gives us opportunities, I think, for people to um, to relate to the piece of art, maybe use it in, in marketing and promotion and merchandising. Um, we've, we've spent a lot of time with the artist and the public and businesses in the area, uh, collecting ideas, the sort of things that people would like to see represented. So when it's finished, we, we hope it'll very much represent people's thoughts and feelings about Loughborough and that they will, will feel they've played a part in creating it. Is this going to be Loughborough's Angel of the North? <laughs> um, I, I, well, it, it's a start. Um, you know, we, we think public art is is very important. Um, you know, we've, we've already got the sock man in town that people are now very, very fond of, um, despite a sort of initial uh, controversy about it. And it does play a part, I think, in creating a sense of place and um, giving people loyalty to their town and distinguishing it, you know, from, from other places as well. So we, we think it's important. Could you not just bring the building down? A lot of people have said that's that's the answer, and it's one of these situations where the building has been earmarked as a possible redevelopment for over 30 years, and it's never happened. And we we came to the conclusion really, look, you know, we're saddled with this building for you know the foreseeable future, and we really have to do the best we can to make it make it look better. Um, in the final analysis, it might get redeveloped. We hope it will, but it's not likely in the near future. Spending money on art is how, how much money is this going to cost? Well, to to, um, to to commission the work and pay the artist and install it um, because it's it's not being painted directly onto the building. It'll be printed on vinyl and and put up. Um, is going to cost about eleven thousand pounds, and that money has come um, partly from uh, the bid businesses in in the town, um, partly from the Mary Porter's fund, which we we got um, uh, just over a year ago, and partly from the borough council. So. It's, it's been you know, put together by, the, by a number of, of bodies that are interested in improving the town, really. Well, none of this would happen without the artist. And he's here today, Wei Ong, from Bristol. But you're getting to know Loughborough, aren't you? Yep. You've been speaking to businesses in the area. Uh, what, what can you give us a sneak preview? What ideas do you have? OK, like, initially it's going to be... To bring it all together, it's going to have uh, a theme of like the four seasons, so it'll be like from winter, spring, summer to, to autumn. And um, like through those periods, there's going to be different events happening. So, for example, during the summer, we're going to invite like I'm going to sort of include things such as like the Mela Festival and uh, the Canal Festival. And then you've got like in the spring, for example, you've got uh, Loughborough and Bloom, Bloom, which sort of was a big thing here because they won like in 2012, uh, the best blooming sort of city in England. So that's sort of a, like a, an excuse to sort of put flowers and baskets and hang it, like something for everyone really. And then, um, then there's going to be his, like a bit of history in it from the beginning. So I'll start that off with like a sort of mentioning like the world war like there was like those war horses that came through Loughborough uh, he had like um, you've got 
This guy Schofield, who started off Loughborough University, he's a big name. Uh, Bakewell, who sort of was a big influence in agriculture and was sort of helpful in like increasing the size of livestock. Um, so there's a bit of current Loughborough, a bit of the history of Loughborough. It's going to look, is it going to look colourful? Is it, is it going to look cartoon-like? Yeah, it's going to look bold, basically, and it will it will have elements of cartoon in it, but, like, it's going to be influenced a lot by Art Deco because there's a lot of Art Deco buildings, like the Odeon, and then there's the Bingo Hall, so there's a lot of that architecture around, so I want to influence that in the art style. So it will be a mix of what I currently do digitally with, with Art Deco, so it's going to be a mix of both, but ultimately it's going to be very bold and it's going to be, like... I think it's going to look really good, basically. It's better than what's there now. So <laughs> Much better than what's there now. So it's going to be bold and it's going to be big. Jonathan, is this, is this what Loughborough is? Bold and big? Yeah. We, uh, it's certainly, you know, aspirational. I mean, we're trying to improve the town, you know, and, and we're battling not only against other town centres, you know, but the cities and the internet. So you've got to do something that's you know, local and different. Um, and this isn't the whole answer, but it's part of the answer, I think, to making Loughborough unique, um, worth visiting. And um, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to grow the town and the town centre. So uh, yeah. And its reputation. And it, and, it, and I will just say finally, it's not being painted directly onto the concrete. It's on digitally being printed onto boards. That's so right. presumably, if the building does go, you could move the art. That's right. It, it, it'll still be there. It'll be, uh, as you say, printed digitally onto vinyl and applied to boards that'll be attached to the building. So uh, yeah, if the building did go, we could we could save the art. Fantastic. Thank you.